So, Xenoverse 2, let's talk about that. So as of recently, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 had uh, its most recent update in order to prep for the new Legendary pack and also put in a few new features. Topo and PyCon are pretty pretty decent characters actually. They are really visually appealing. Uh, PyCon's got some pretty sweet things of his own. Uh, I've though I've been I've been labbing Topo a lot more because his kit seems. A lot more interesting even though again they bo they both look visually appealing to the same extent but topo just seems a little bit more fun at the moment so i have been labbing them a little bit as of recent and i do think that this is a good update i still have yet to do any of the other stuff that the legendary pack offers so i'll probably get to that sometime soon but as of now i think pycon and topo are pretty good characters as a matter of fact, I am a firm believer that God of Destruction Topo may be part of the new meta because he might have like a like a, he may have a frame trap loop. I don't know. It's what I've been labbing. But yeah, overall, two really good characters. Uh, happy to see them both in Xenoverse, and I can't wait to see where the hero vote leads us to the next character. By the way, you should totally vote Bergamo and not UI Sign Goku. But we're not here to talk about PyCon and Topo today. Today, we're here to talk about something that I've come to realize and is a very big problem to me, at least. So a while back, Xenoverse 2 implemented a camera mode, which allows you to take free range of the camera and take cool snapshots of characters, and I really appreciate that they did that because I love games with camera modes. But as of recently, they did a little something something that I really don't approve with, and it makes me immensely upset. I'm gonna show you two pick side by side really similar ones, and I'm gonna let you try to figure out what the problem is. Huh. Really interesting. Did you see it? I'm gonna show you again. Yep, that's right! They added a copyright watermark to in-game snapshots. <laughs> And I really just don't get why they went through with doing this because it really doesn't make a lot of sense. And I'm going to go a little bit more into detail as to why I think that a little later on. And just to clear this up and get it out of the way, the title does not imply that I'm going to stop playing this game because I love it to death and I don't think I could stop playing it if I want to. But this just really, really upsets me and I'm going to go into detail as to why that is. So what we're going to start off with is just the practice itself because I think that it is really stupid and ridiculous, especially when it comes to the Switch. The reason why I say it's a problem for the Switch is because a lot of the games that come to the Switch, a lot of the games and ports are all really focused around creativity. Like you have a lot of games that have a camera mode, you have a lot of games that allow you to do in-game recording like Smash Ultimate and many other miscellaneous games that I probably can't think up my head at the moment. And it's because of all of these types of features on these Switch games that makes the Switch fanbase kind of a fanbase for creativity. Like we get stuff like cool snapshots, machinima, a bunch of other stuff. So basically if you play on the Switch, you are a very creative person. I thoroughly believe that. And hell, even then, Smash Ultimate is guilty for doing this too, because at the end of recorded replays, the screen will cut to black and it'll show all of the copyright information, everything and whatnot. But if you have an editing software, you can cut that out and not harm the footage in any way. And for some reason, a lot of the games on the Switch do this. And I get it's to, you know, like not to pass it off as your own work or anything, but it's like the most you can do on the Switch is just like 30 second clips and screenshots. So it's like, why? So now that's where we get to the point where it's a problem in Xenoverse because it just doesn't add up. There's just like, there seems to be very little to absolutely no reason as to why this should have been added and made a thing. Factor one as to why this is a problem is that Xenoverse 2 is 
a four year old game. This thing has been on the Switch since like 2017, if I remember correctly. So the fact that they threw this watermark, I assume it's to protect their IP because it's very clear that they're not done with Xenoverse and that we're gonna get more stuff later on in the future. And that's fine because again, I love Xenoverse 2 to death. So the fact that it's still getting support even after all of this time is amazing but i just don't get why like if you wanted to protect your ip so badly you would have at least implemented this on like launch day like why would you wait four years to add this watermark i don't i i really i really don't get it like, it just doesn't- it, it boggles the mind. It really does not make any sense to me whatsoever. What also doesn't help matters is that Xenoverse 2 on the Switch is, I will admit, like, one of the worst ports of the game because that's really, like, in terms of creativity, that's, like, all you can really do because the game is programmed like one of those games where holding the button can't save 30 seconds of gameplay. So it's, like, again, like, it's only- you can only do snapshots and they put copyright watermarks on your snapshots because? Like there's actually like no need for them to do it because it's like, what are we gonna benefit from for claiming a snapshot as our own? I mean, like there's really like, there's not much that we can do with a Xenoverse 2 snapshot alone. So it's like, I just, I don't get it. Now, why exactly do I see this as a big problem you ask? Well. I'm gonna tell you. The reason that I believe that this is a problem as big as it is, is because this is going to really hinder the creative prowess of the Switch player fan base. Like, because now with this watermark appearing in every single snapshot we take, we're either going to have to set up the pick in a way that it's out of the way and people won't focus on it, or we have to actively crop it out ourselves, therefore cropping other stuff out of the picture at the same time. And I know that that's not much, I get that, but it's like, again, this shouldn't be happening. This shouldn't have happened to begin with. Oh, and by the way, did I mention that apparently they've only done this for the Switch port so far? Because I don't think I did. Apparently from what I know so far, this is only a switch problem i'm not aware if the playstation or xbox have been affected i know pc wasn't affected because when i discovered this my friend was playing on his pc and he was just sending me snapshot after snapshot not a single one of them had the watermark and from the rate that he was sending them it was hard to believe that he was cropping them out prior to sending them so the problem just doesn't exist for PC entirely. And I don't get why they only did this for Switch. I just don't. One, there's not a lot of people that play online Xenoverse Switch. I should know because I hang out in a lot of online servers. And two, the game is, again, four years old, maybe even more if I'm incorrect. I don't even know, but this game just doesn't deserve this treatment, especially when it's shadow dropped into an update like that. Like, they didn't say anything about it. They didn't give any mention of it. It's like, it just, the game updated and it was there. And it infuriates me that they're now starting to take this practice because I just, again, I don't get it. It ruins creative prowess. It just doesn't make any sense and I don't know why they only did it for Switch or even in general. Now what does this mean for Xenoverse 2 Switch players? I have absolutely no clue, probably nothing, but worst case scenario, they could very much be trying to just weed out Xenoverse 2 Switch players and I'm really hoping that that's not the case because that would be really stupid. Now, there are two different things that can come out of this. Either one, other consoles get this treatment and they get the watermark added to their snapshots too, so that Switch players don't suffer alone. Or two, the watermark gets removed from Switch Xenoverse 2 in its entirety and balance is restored to the world, world hunger is solved, I don't know. 
But I will definitely say that this is going to be a big kick to the nuts for fellow Switch Xenoverse players that like taking snapshots. I'm not sure if there's many people out there like that other than me, but it's definitely gonna suck from here on out. So I really hope that Bandai Namco goes against this and removes it in the future, or they just spread it all around equally entirely and give everyone the same treatment. I really don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about what I wanted to talk about. So, um, yeah, Bandai Namco, um, stop ruining the game and, uh, eat a fat load. That's all. The biggest star in evil meets a cheat devil! How could this be?!